Yes, folks, April 9th is among us. And welcome to the 8th series of Master Ass Robot Wars. Yeah, folks, it's finally here. Remember, we done our last... We ended our last series in, um... In... Two th in, uh, on, in October of last year. Uh, but we're back with a brand new series. And, well... Let's go through, uh, some of the stuff. Like, for example, the, uh... The brand new tournament structure, folks. Yep, again. Um... Well, we'll start off with uh, the qualifiers, because of course, 101 robots compete this series. That's an all-time high for Master Astro, 101 robots will compete, uh, which means 42 robots uh, will compete in the qualifiers. 21 robots go through, uh, and instead of competing in boring one-on-one -on -one matches, it's six-way matches. Yep, folks, six-way matches. Uh, and not only will it be six-way matches, but also... Um, it will be, uh, there's seven of, seven six-way matches, really, um, and the top three go, and the top three qualify for the heats, and then it's, of course, uh, ten heats, eight robots in it, and, uh, yeah, as we already said, and basically, near enough, everything else is the same. Ten robots make it through to the quarterfinals. Uh, then that goes down to five. We have a loser's melee between the five defeated robots in the quarterfinals. We go down to the semifinals with six robots. Then uh, three go through. And again, a loser's melee between the three defeated robots in the semifinals. And then the um, the uh, final eliminator uh, between the four robots to, to get down to two. And then the grand final to determine the eighth uh, Master Astral Wars champion. So, folks. Uh, well... That's enough from me. Let's go uh, to me again for the uh, top 20 of Master Ass Robot Wars Series 8. As always, we start from 20 and move all the way down to number 1. Coming in number 20, this series is Ultimo, Legend Rank number 6 with a powerful front flipper. Two time semi finalist, two time Legend Champion, three time Ultimate Challenge winner, and a legend here in Master Ass Robot Wars. Here at number 19 is Bogey, Legend Rank number 57, the lowest Legend Rank in this series uh, with a reverse flipper a very powerful weapon uh, it's also very large however the bodywork is fragile two-time heat finalist next we have the spinning to victory robot wedgie legend rank number 35 seed number 18 a powerful pushing robot no shroom it however two-time heat finalist and a very low ground clearance Next up, Arrowhead 2, the current undisputed Legends Champion. Legend rank number 3 has moved up multiple ranks since winning the Legends title back in December. Seed number 17 for this series, undefeated in singles competition on Master of Rebels Legends, with sure makes unreliable, finalist in Series 2, the reverse flipper however, is brilliant. Here at number 16, the robot that nearly toppled Exodus off his crown, DF2. Seed number 16, Legend rank number 37, a powerful protective shell, it can also push with quite a lot of force to robots, the first robot to defeat Calamity Call 4 in singles competition. Then at number 15, it's Cobra, former tag team champion, the Account Mayhem winner of 2010. A unique attack in with uh, the flipper and spikes. Legend rank number 32, C number 15, a heat finalist in his first and only time in the series. Now Transpar, seed number 14, Legends rank number 22, a six-time heat finalist, lightweight robot, invertible, powerful, good pusher, and, well, it could completely go into the dust, or will it be able to fight its way to the finals? And now the Rumble winner, Crustacea, the, ro the winner of the Robot Rumble of Series 7, seed number 13, Legends rank number 14, a six-time heat finalist has not gotten further, however, the Claws of the Lawnmower Blade is ready to compete tonight. Next we have Dragoo, Legend Rank number 16, seed number 12, the full body spinner, maybe the most destructive weapon in Master After All's history, three-time heat finalist, a two-time tag team champion, and he was the interactive champion at one point. Next up, Speed, seed number 11, Legend Rank number 17, has only won once since Series 7 ended. A very good flip, however, the high ground clearance of the rear has been a problem. A quarter finalist in Series 6, and a new blood cherry champion, and a former champion champion as well. Next up, Catalyst, seed number 10, legend rank number 7, a powerful flipper, won the interactive championship for the very first time earlier on Legends of Series 4, 
the winner of Series 2. However, if there's problems with the Shri Mech, however, the improved flipping mechanism could come a cropper for many robots. Scene number 9 is Chet King, Legends rank number 33, a shocker here, beat Bogey in his heat final to get here. No Shri Mech, however, very low ground clearance, one of the lowest ground clearance robots in Mass Dress Rotals, quarter finalist of Series 7. At seed 8 is Zero, Legends rank number 30, a very powerful flipper, very powerful weapon. However, the weapon is unreliable, it splits itself over, named by Bamzuki Man 130, core violence in its only appearance in the series. Demon Horn, the last Master Dress Rolls Legends Champion, Legends rank number 8, a very powerful front flipper, similar to Chaos 2, and has the weaknesses of it as well, it's easily shut in. The winner of Series 6, a very good robot, two times Seasonal Cup Champion, a Series Champion, a Legends Champion, and a Tag Team Champion. Here at number 6 this series is Exodus, his first appearance in Mass Rush Rotals and makes it to the semi-finals. He is the current New Blood Champion of Champions. A very powerful flipper however, the there is no protection at the back, but very low ground clearance at the front. Here at number 5 is Diamond Storm, has been on a very good roll on Legends recently. The Series 2 New Blood Champion, former New Blood Champion of Champions, an Ultimate Challenge winner. A very good robot in my opinion, the improvements, the ground clearance is the lowest in Master of Rotals history, however it can't self right inside, and it's a two-time consecutive finalist. Here at number 4 is the legendary Torto Terra, former interactive champion, former Legends champion as well, former series champion, two-time Rumble winner, the only robot to win the Robot Rumble twice in a row, the ultimate challenge winner as well, Legend Rank number 2, Seed 4, what can you say, Brute Force, I think so. Next to number 3 is Dark Effigy, Legend Rank number 5, a powerful front flipper, very controlled weapon, however still prone to shots, however it's been on a complete roll since Series 7 began, can it be able to get back in the heyday and maybe make it to the final, current seed number 3 here. And now seed number 2, Impact, current interactive champion, a two time finalist, Series 2 and 7, slow Shrewmack however, powerful, very good pushy power, low ground clearance, low robot face, former ultimate challenge winner as well, Legend Rank number 4. And lastly, seed number one, legend rank number one, the greatest robot in Mass Dress Rumble's history, Calamity Call 4, three time series champion in series one, three and seven, a two time legends champion, fought the first ever Rumble winner, the Winter Cup champion of 2009, the first ever champion of champions, and the account mayhem winner of 2011 for Anderson 932, improved from series six, out the armor is lightweight, and we've seen him come a cropper on legends recently. And those are the top 20 seeds for Master Astro All Series 8. And finally, folks, introducing the five house robots and our ref bot for Series 8. First up, our ref bot, we have Bill the Slowosaurus. Two time ref bot of the year in fan made robot wars. This robot could count you out. This robot could certainly determine and decide the fate of even the greatest robots. Excalibur, the leader of the pack, a pushing robot, similar to Growler, has been here since Series 1. A very respected robot, great pusher, all-round annoyance for any other robot, because they could be eliminated by him. Genocide, armed of course for the second straight series in a row with a devilish spike. This spike could cause problems for many robots, and it has on Legends recently. We saw the big cube Rubik's return to uh, uh, the Legends episode two weeks ago. Or at least two weeks ago then. The Legends episode about a month and a half ago. Where he came back to crush multiple robots. The pushing power is what it's needed. But also, it la always lands on its feet. Therefore, can this unsolvable cube knock a lot of robots out of the tournament? Then we have Bloodshed, the two lifters... As always, introduced in Series 6, a very good robot, and it could be the worst problem for any house ro for any robot, because this house robot could lift you out of the arena if he really wants to. And lastly, White Lightning, this time has a new axe for Series 8. This axe now has uh, a little spike on the top to help it uh, attack robots, and of course, it could fillet robots at any time given moment. So those are the house robots for series 8 of Master Ash Robot Wars and of course our ref bot Bill. So folks we'll soon be beginning the qualifiers 
uh, very soon. And hopefully this series should last about three ha three months, four months, something like that. So, yeah, let's hope for a good series. I'm the Master. I'll be seeing you for the qualifiers for Series 8, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye! <laughs>